Delicious. Happy winter wishing. It's all about getting the decorations just right, huh? Uh, hey! <laughs> I like it, Bee. That's a good look for you. Hey, yeah, you know, I could start a whole winter wishing fashion trend. Meow. <laughs> Let's see. We have tinsel trees and blinkity blink lights, but we still need that one special thing. Without it, it's just not winter wish fest. <gasps> We need Griselda bread cookies and hot Suzuni cocoa. I was thinking of something else. It's white, it's fluffy, it falls from the sky. Falls from the sky. Oh! I know! Pick me, pick me! <laughs> yes, Bartleby? Snow! We're missing snow! Yep. Remember last year on Wishing Night? When everyone gathered around the wishing tree to make our wishes for the winter? Uh, and the wishes came out and glowed all different colors. And fluffy white snow is falling on the tree. <gasps> we can't have a winter wishing without snow! Exactly! Let's go remind the Rainbow King to get some. He has a lot on his mind at this time of year. He just might forget. Wait for me! Whoa! <laughs> She's going to love this. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Ah. Come here. I caught it. Come here. Give me. Give me. It's so pretty, Rainbow King. Is that for the winter wishing? No, my dear. This prismatic present is for dancing. I'm going to give it to my sister. She loves to dance. Give me, give me. <laughs> How go the preparations for the winter wishing? The Rainbow City looks magical, even without any magic yet. Speaking of which, we still need snow. Sweet cherry bread. The winter wishing snow, I almost forgot. <laughs> I got a little distracted by this orb of rainbow radiance. <laughs> Let's fetch that snow for the wishing. This way. Follow me. I finally caught it. I did caught it. What? Where'd it go? Hey, wait up for me. So the winter wishing snow is somewhere in the castle? <laughs> oh, no. The Rainbow Castle isn't cold enough to store snow. The snow is a special gift from my sister. Your sister gives you snow? You ever think of regifting? We have a wonderful tradition of exchanging gifts on winter wishing. I give her something rainbowy, and she gives me snow. Come, I have something very special to show you. <gasps> Welcome to my royal family room. Wow. That's a lot of mirrors. Yes, and each one is a window to a different kingdom. Crystal kingdom, heart kingdom, Sky Kingdom. That's the Water Kingdom, Bartleby. <laughs> or as some call it, the Kingdom of Endless Baths. A bath kingdom? Are you kidding me? I'll just stay in the Rainbow Kingdom. Thanks very much. Have a great day. This must be the Ice Kingdom. Right you are, True. A cold but dazzling kingdom. The perfect home for my sister. Oh, your sister is the Ice Queen. She is indeed. Let's see if she's at home. Rainbow King! Happy, Happy winter, winter wishing! wishing. Jinxies! <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing the same thing for two million years. Sister, meet my good friends, True and Bartleby. Pleased to meet you, Your Highness. Likewise. Uh, 
Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you must remember Icy, my little ice crystal. He helps me keep the ice kingdom frozen solid. <sighs> Chilled to perfection. Thank you, Icy. He's so cute. <laughs> I think he'd come right through this mirror if he could. <laughs> oh, can you please come to play just for a bit? Oh, you'll love our winter festival, I see. Everything's bright and sparkly, just like you. I'm sorry, Icy, but it wouldn't be safe for you to leave the Ice Kingdom for anyone. Icy's unique gift is spreading what we call Forever Frost. What's Forever Frost? It's an ice that can't be melted. Isn't that right, sister? Yes! So long as my little Icy is present, Forever Frost is quite permanent. A wonderful thing, if you like the cold. <laughs> Not this cat. <laughs> yes, well, I... Icy's Forever Frost can go out of control outside of the Ice Kingdom. It spreads quickly and freezes everything in its path. Ah, uh, perhaps it's best you stay put. Sorry, little one. Oh, my, my, my. Icy is a good little crystal, but can be such a handful sometimes. Yelping Yellow, I almost forgot. I have a present for you. I made it myself. <gasps> Just what I always wanted! What is it? It's for dancing. Ah! Oh, I can't wait to try it! Now for your gift. Extra fluffy. Just the way you like it. Happy, Happy winter, winter wishing! wishing. Jinxies! Jinxies. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, Icy. Goodbye! <laughs> Back to the festivities, everyone! Yet. Yeah. Oh, why, thank you. Can't have winter wishing without hot Zazumi cocoa. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! the forever frost that can't be melted. The forever frost that can't be melted! He's gonna freeze up the whole festival! We have to catch him and take him home. Like now! I see! Great 
ice crystal? My Coco! Tail's always this crooked, right? To us. He listens to the Ice Queen. Your Majesty, I think you have to ask your sister to come and get him. Yes, good thinking, true. I'll ask the Ice Queen to come and retrieve him right away. In the meantime, we have to keep Icy from turning everything and everyone into blocks of ice. Um, that is not going to be easy. We need wish help, and fast. Cumulo! Please, hurry! <laughs> Fan out more that way, please. To the left. A little more. Yes, perfect. Z! Oh, hi, True and Bartleby. Come in. I was just getting the wishes, looking their best for the winter wishing. <laughs> there may not even be a winter wishing this year. We've got a frost problem. A forever frost problem. Forever Frost? I have heard of Forever Frost, but never in the Rainbow Kingdom. A little ice crystal from the Ice Kingdom brought it. It's really cute, but it freezes everything it touches. Can't sap it, warm it, melt it, nothing! Wandering wormholes! Let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? The Rainbow King is going to ask his sister to come and get her crystal. But until she gets here, we have to keep everyone at the festival from freezing solid. The Wishing Tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing <laughs> tree. Wikipedia says about your wishes. First you received Warmo. Warmo! Warmo's one of the best warming wishes there is. Toasty warm. Hopefully you can keep everyone cozy until the Ice Queen comes. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's have a look at your next wish. Shumpy, a shielding wish. Shumpy! Shumpy is a protection wish. It can shield anyone from anything. It's a very strong wish. Then you're just what we need. You can shield us from the Forever Frost. And your last one is a very special wish with a very unique power. Slothby can slow down anything. Whoa. Maybe Slothby can slow Icy down so you can catch him, B. What? I could totally catch that little crystal. I mean, he's fast, but I'm uh, super fast. There's just that freezing thing, remember? Right. We'd better get back to the festival. Come on, wishes. Time to save the winter wishing. 
Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my path. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Wish us luck. Good luck stopping the ice crystal. Thanks for the wishes, Wishing Tree. Stay safe from the Forever Frost. Back to the festival, Cumulo. As fast as you can. Uh, true. You're gonna want to see this. Oh, no! The Forever Frost is spreading to the never-ending forest! Cumulo, quick! Stop here! We have to help those critters! I'll keep that frost in line! Hey! Whoa! Noby, it's too dangerous! Stand back! Time for my first wish! Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Help us, Shoopy! Wish come true! Shoopy, shield the critters and protect them from the frost, which is very cold. Can you do that? I hope it works. Yes! The wish is strong enough! Great shielding, Shumpy! Yeah! Take that, Forever Frost! I see no! Stay there, okay? Come on, come on! Icy. Uh, uh. No, 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 don't touch that. No! <laughs> Shoopy, are you okay? I think Shoopy's trying to crack the ice. That's it. You're doing it. Brave. Can you stay and protect the critters while we go for more help? <sighs> Thanks, Shoopy. We have to stop the frost, Drew. Don't worry, B. We will. I don't know how, but we will. Thanks, Cumulo. Stay safe, okay? Stay nice and high above the frost. Mm -hmm. I hope you got some good, good wishes to warm us. It's very c cold. I have just the thing. Time for my second wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Come out, Warmo. Wish come true. Hi, Warmo. It's time to heat things up. Plenty of cocoa for everyone! See, Bartleby? It's going to be okay! <laughs> Incoming face bubble! True, I can't contact the Ice Queen! The castle is covered in forever frost, and the mirror to the Ice Kingdom is broken! So that's how Icy got to the Rainbow Kingdom! <gasps> of course! And if Icy went through? Then so can I. You mean we. We're coming with you. Yeah! Wait, what? To the Ice Kingdom? I was hoping you might. If my magic is powerless against the Forever Frost, then I'll need all the help I can get. We're on our way. True. Wait. We can't go to the Ice Kingdom. It's cold there. Really cold. Like... And what about our friends? We can't just leave them behind with the Forever Frost. You're right, B. But if the castle's already frozen, then the Forever Frost might reach the Wishing Tree, too. We can't wait. I have an idea how we can keep our friends safe while we're gone. It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you. We need you, Slothby. Wish come true. Slothby, we need more time. The Forever Frost is moving too quick and we need to slow it down. It's very cold. Can you try to put it into slow motion until we get back? I can't watch! It's working! Sloppy is slowing the frost! It's barely moving! I knew it 
would work. Good job, Slothby. Slothby, are you okay there for a bit? Huh? Ah. Slothby will slow the frost for now. I just hope we come back before Icy does. We'll be fine, True. You go to the really cold place. And we'll keep the winter wishing spirit alive with hot Suzuni Coco. And if the crystal returns, we will be here to meet it. <gasps> it's Shadow and Silverclaw! At your service. We have become aware of the mysterious frost. We will keep watch for the ice crystal and catch him, if we can. We'll all help keep the frost away. Yay! I knew you all would. everyone pull together when the wishing tree might be in danger. To the palace, please, Cumulo! Wait! Did she just say the wishing tree might be in danger? It is possible. The frost is slowed, but not stopped. And the little ice crystal is still running loose somewhere in the kingdom. Okay, everybody! Change of plans! We're going up to the wishing tree! Yay! Yay! So now we're going through a broken portal to a frozen kingdom and we're out of wishes? Tell me everything's gonna be okay, True. It's going to be better than okay. You'll see. We're going to find the Ice Queen, catch the Ice Crystal, and save the festival. Then we're going to make our winter wishes at the Wishing Tree. It's going to be the most magical winter wishing we've ever had. Promise? I'll promise. A trail of forever frost! It looks like Icy went from the royal family room straight to the Rainbow City! Hurry, Cumulo. Rainbow King is waiting for us. Thanks, Cumulo. We can hop off here. Are you sure we have to go to the Ice Kingdom with him, True? I mean, <laughs> cold. The Rainbow King needs us, B. If we don't stop the ice crystal, the wishing tree will freeze over. Freeze! I mean, wait! Freeze is what will happen to you if you set foot on the Forever Frost! Oh! <laughs> right. Here! This feels funny. <laughs> oh, someone turn off the spinning! <sighs> As you can see, the mirror to the Ice Kingdom is shattered. I can't use it to call my sister the Ice Queen. Couldn't you just magic it back together? I've tried, but the Ice Kingdom glass is so cold that my rainbow magic is powerless against it. Then we just have to go through it like Icy did and ask your sister for help. There's no telling where we might end up. And since the Ice Kingdom is so cold, that could be dangerous. We will most certainly need wish help. But I've already used all of my wishes to keep everyone safe and warm at the Winter Wishing. Maybe the Wishing Tree will give me three more. More wishes? You've never asked for more than three wishes, have you? No, but the Wishing Tree always helps me when I need it. And we couldn't need it more, so let's get you back to the Wishing Tree. Now hurry back, True! Before the Rainbow Kingdom becomes the Frost Kingdom. should keep you warm. <laughs> Me! True, Bartleby, you're back again? Is everything all right? Well, all the wishes are working really hard to keep everyone safe and warm. But the Forever Frost is still spreading! So we need to go get the Rainbow King's sister... The Ice Queen... ...to get her ice crystal. Icy! So we have to go through the Broken Mirror to the Ice Kingdom to get her. It is very unusual for you to ask for three more wishes, but I know the tree will help you, True. Let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, all I know is the Ice Kingdom is super cold and we don't know where we'll come out. So we may have to travel really, really far to find the Ice Queen. Wishing Tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing Tree, 
wishing tree to share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing <laughs> tree. tree gave you more wishes. Yes, but it gave me two wishes. Puzzling. Perhaps the wishing tree feels you only need two. Let's look them up. That's reach up. A stretching wish. You can use it to reach a long way or over big obstacles. reach will be great to have in the Ice Kingdom. <laughs> Next up we have see-through. It lets you see what's behind things. I hope the Ice Queen won't be hiding, but if the tree thinks we need see-through, then I'm sure we will. Uh-huh. Thanks, Z. Wishes, we've got an Ice Queen to find. Uh -huh. Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Bye, Z. I know you'll protect the wishing tree from the forever frost. Of course. Now go. The entire Rainbow Kingdom is counting on you. Oh, you're warm. You wouldn't want to come to the Ice Kingdom, would you? Keep me nice and toasty. Griselda? What are you all doing here? We heard you say the wishing tree might be in trouble. So I got everyone to come up and help. We'll just have our winter wish fest here. <laughs> Thank you, Griselda. Thank you, everyone. I know you'll all keep the wishing tree safe and warm while we're gone. Come on, Bartleby. Coming, Chew. Now remember, the mirror is broken, so where we end up is anybody's guess. It could be dangerous. Are you sure you're ready? Ready. We're ready. All right, let's go. I'm in not ready! I'm not ready! <laughs> Palace. Whoa, it's so beautiful. Even the Forever Frost looks different here. Ah! I'm frozen! <laughs> Don't worry, Bartleby. The Forever Frost belongs in the Ice Kingdom and isn't dangerous here. Phew! Ah! I thought you said it wasn't dangerous! Well, shouldn't the Forever Frost be forever? I'm not quite sure, but I'm certain my sister will have the answer. If only we knew where my sister was! I see! I see! Where are you? Ah! Oh, there's another one! Frosted to see you, brother. A tickle thing to see you. You remember True and Bartleby? Welcome to my ice palace. Only it's a shame you've come just when it's in such a sorry state. <laughs> Icy! I think you can stop calling for Icy, Your Majesty. Icy is in the Rainbow Kingdom. <gasps> but how? Icy came through the magic mirror and broke it. <laughs> And now, almost all of the Rainbow Kingdom is covered in Forever Frost! Then both of our kingdoms are in terrible trouble. What do you mean? Without Icy, my frozen paradise will... <laughs> melt away! But I thought Forever Frost lasts forever. If Icy is near, yes. He has a magical connection to Forever Frost. Ah! Water! Water on me! All the more reason we need to bring Icy home as soon as... 
possible. We need you to come and get him, Ice Queen. He only listens to you. I would be chilled to go retrieve that little rascal. But without Icy, I need to stay in my kingdom to keep it safe and solidly frozen. You have to come. Unless you can tell us how to bring him home. Well, you might use that wish you gave me for winter wishing. Yes, a blue wish of possibility. That's a wish that can still choose what it wants to be. We'll take it! I mean, uh, please, can we borrow it, your iciness? Of course you can. But it's with all of my treasures in the ice gallery. <laughs> um, that looks far. We can do it. We'll get that wish and have Icy back where he belongs in no time. Thank you, True. Bring me back my Icy as soon as possible. I miss him so. Uh, I'll get that. Go! Go! crystal called Icy is very near. The menacing ice crystal is upon us. Why is it coming towards the wishing tree? <gasps> Sparklies! Icy couldn't stay away from all the shiny ornaments at the festival. Yes, a shiny object could lure the crystal away from the tree. Ice crystal, would you like to play with this? <laughs> very sparkly. If I am to be frozen for an unknown period of time, it is cold, but also not unpleasant. We have failed our mission. It is up to True and the young Kitty Naughty now. I think we're almost there. I will never, ever take my fur for granted again. Thank you, fur. I love you, fur. I can get the seat to float in this cold. There must be some way for us to get over this ice faster. Oh. Oh. Well, sliding is faster than walking. Rainbow King, do you mind if I give you a push? Push away, True. <laughs> Thank rainbows, this is much faster than walking. Okay, hang on, everybody! Hang on? 
Hang on to... A royal thrill. Thanks, Richo. Couldn't have done it without you. Now back in the pack. Can we find that special wish and go home now? Sure, B. First, we've got to find the door. Oh, goodness, Green. I, I didn't see you there. Hello. We have come directly from the Ice Queen, my sister, and it's very important that we get into the gallery. Will you show us the door? I don't think these icy fellows will let us by. Does any of this seem a little strange? Yes, I can't feel my toes. The guards all move at the same time. Oh. It's like the reflections from the Ice Queen's dance ball. It looks like there are a lot of guards, but there's really just one. Whoa! So how are we going to find him? With wish help. Time for my second wish. There's an ice guard hiding around here somewhere. Do you think you can help me find him? Uh huh. Oh, I found him. Be careful, True. Excuse me. <gasps> oh, he's just a itty bitty ice cube. There's something really important we have to find in the ice gallery. Will you please help us get inside? <laughs> Your kingdom is melting! Just like the Forever Frost is spreading in our kingdom, the melting is spreading in yours. <gasps> but we're here to help. Will you let us in? <laughs> um, that's a little tiny. Oh, that's better. Thanks, See-Through. You were a lot of help. Zoo Zip Zap, back in my pack. So many treasures. <gasps> A statue of the Rainbow King! Looks just like you, but you know, colder. What's that? <gasps> you found it, B. That's the one. The wish I gave the Ice Queen. It's a wish of limitless possibility. You mean it can be anything it wants? Exactly right. Try calling it, true. <gasps> Time to wake up, Blue Wish. The Rainbow Kingdom needs you. Too, in here. Yes, if only everyone back home could feel this too. Well, maybe they can. Let's go! Uh -oh. Sparkly distractions didn't work. I don't know what else to do. Uh. Stop! In case you haven't noticed, your Forever Frost is freezing everything in our kingdom. And all of our friends too. Uh -oh. But we don't want to be frozen. What? I see. This is our wishing tree. We know you mean no harm, but if you come any closer, it may be bad for the tree. Now, can you please stop your frost from spreading? Uh-oh. I don't think he can stop it. 
Then it is time to get the wishes higher up into the wishing tree's trunk. They'll be warmer there. Uh, oh, no! Quick, give me your hand! Hurry, True! I'm afraid we're too late. The fire of frost has reached the wishing tree. Huh? Our friends are ice cubes! Don't worry, we have our little blue wish to help us. Okay, Special Blue Wish, time to work your magic. La, 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 la. That's it? The Wish of Unlimited Possibilities just sings la, 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 la. Doesn't it make you feel better? Like everything will be okay? Aw, tingly. And so warm inside? wish. promised that this would be the most magical winter wishing we've ever had. And it is. rush a grabble apple tree. If you take the fruit before the tree drops it, the tree will be very upset. Oh, as upset as my I'm not eating grabble apples yet face. Even more so. <laughs> I'm not sure you fully saw how sad my face was. Let me try that again. <laughs> it's worth the wait. 
if you take the fruit off too early, it'll taste sour. Then you'll make your sour face. <laughs> Bubbling blue, true. Did you just bite into a sour grabble apple? No, I was showing Bartleby what happens when you do. He's getting a little impatient. Well, Bartleby, there's more to it than fresh grabble apples, you know. All the leaves on the trees change color. I love it when they go from green to groovy, goldenrod and radical radish red. Oh, I can hardly wait for the trees to go to sleep. We don't have long to wait. The Grand Marshal of Grabble Apple Fest will be here any minute to summon the dark gray clouds of autumn. Ah, here he is now. Please welcome the Duke of Dower, the Minister of Misgivings, the Groom of Gloom, my cousin, Glummy Glooma. I'm useful, yay me. More than useful. You're the reason Grabble Apple Harvest exists. Oh, goody. Well, let's just get this over with. What's the big whoop about Grabble Apple Fest anyway? Everyone is excited about the change of seasons. The cool air, the hay rides, the leaf colors, the coziness of bundling up. Don't forget the scarves. The scarves. But most importantly, the, the Grabble Apples. Oh, they can't be that good. Nothing's that good. You mean you've never eaten a Grabble Apple? Well, I don't like trying new things. But even you would like them, Glummy. They're sweet, crunchy, delicious. Psh, I'll be the judge of that. But they're not ready yet! <laughs> Sour. Mmm, pulpy. And not delicious at all. I can't see why anyone would like these. Except me. We told you they weren't ready. Their taste will change when they ripen. I don't want them to change. They're perfect the way they are. You're not saying what I think you're saying. The fruit will stay sour, and Gravel Apple Fest is canceled. That's what I thought you were saying. No, wait! Come back, Clouds! And bring your glorious shade with you! Who knew sour Gravel Apples could be so blechy? I wonder what else I've been missing out on. Um, uh, yes, exactly. Why don't you let me show you some of the wonderful things in the kingdom that change? How will I show off my new scarf in this heat? Will no one think of the scarves? But Farmer Mosser, what happens if the trees don't drop their fruit and go to sleep? Oh, dearie me. If the trees don't have their winter nap, they'll be grumpy all next summer. What does that mean? Break it down for me in terms of gravel apples. Not only will their fruit be sour this year, it'll be sour next year and the year after that. Don't say in the year after that, too! Not the year after that! Then we have to help them have their winter nap. Maybe we can figure out a way to soothe the trees. Then they'll feel better and go to sleep. It's possible. There's a good tree. Give the fruit to the nice farm hand. Come on now. Oh no, the trees have become so cranky, we'll never get them to sleep now. But then we won't get our sweet, sweet gravel apples. <laughs> hey! Unbranch those farm hands! Whoa! Uh oh. We really have to do something, B. We need wish help. Oh, Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please. Hmm. Scarf for hat. Oh, hi, True and Bartleby. I'm just choosing what to wear this grapple apple season. You will wear nothing because there isn't going to be a grapple apple season. Glummy Gloomba picked a grapple apple too soon and decided he likes them sour. He called off the clouds and is withholding his gloom! The trees are upset and refusing to drop their fruit. No change of seasons? That would cause confusion for every living thing in the kingdom. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we have to do something about the bright sun because it's keeping the trees awake and we need something to calm them down so they'll let the farmhands go and finally have their winter nap. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Cluster of captivating wishes. Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Shady. Shady. Shady is a canopy wish that provides shade when it blooms. You can protect the trees from the sun's glare, and then they'll know it's time to nap. Yeah! <laughs> Next up is Hushabai, the singing wish. Hushabai can calm you down with its sweet, soothing music. Nice to see you again, Hushabai. You can sing the trees to sleep. <laughs> and lastly, we have Ping Ping. Ping Ping is a speaker wish that can send sounds far away. Whenever you say into Ping A, it comes out of Ping B. Here, you try. Nice to meet you, Ping Ping. Nice to meet you, Ping Ping. Oh, my turn. Mm. Oh. Bartleby is one cool cat. Bartleby is one cool cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Ping Ping really likes being together. He gets a bit nervous when it's apart. Just like me and True. I'm not quite sure how you'll help us, Ping Ping, but I promise you won't be separated for long. <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my Good luck, you two. Thanks, Z. We'll do our best. The sun is so shiny without the gray clouds. I think it might be time to take off your scarf. Never! Soonish? Okay, now. Do you hear crying? Yep, I hear crying all right. I can't tell if it's the trees or the farmhands. Either way, sounds like Farmer Monster needs our help. Let's go! <laughs> All right, Bee, we need to calm them down. Right. Wait, the farmhands or the trees? Hmm. Both? Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, Trees. <laughs> Higher! Oh. oh no! Shady's stuck! He opened too soon! He has to be higher than the trees to give them shade! How will we get him out of there? We could climb up the trees if they weren't so flaily. Excuse me, Grabble Apple Tree. Would you let us climb up you? <laughs> it's no use, True. They're too upset to listen to you. Might listen to a lullaby. Time for my second wish. sing a lullaby to help those cranky trees get to sleep. Do you think you can do that? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Bee, throw your shade. Hey, Mr. and or Ms. Tree, can you give me a boost up high so I can help unstick Shady? <sighs> Shady, can you collapse for a minute, please? Wow. Your 
wing shady. Good job, B. Look, it's working. They're asleep. Do you think it's safe to pick them now? I wouldn't try it. No, no, no. No one do anything loud. We can't not make noise forever. Not forever, just until the season changes. And for that, it looks like we need to find Glummy. Find Glummy? Good idea! Shh! Also, a good idea would be for you to come with me. Um, agreed. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Try and keep it down, Cumulo. The trees are trying to sleep. <laughs> Glummy Swamp is much sunnier than usual. He cannot be okay with that. Maybe that will help us convince him to bring the clouds back. Rainbow King, where's Glummy? He's in his stump and won't come out. I tried to convince him to bring the clouds back and change the seasons. And... Oh, right. It's still sunny. I guess he wasn't convinced. I did my best to show him that change was a good thing. I showed him how slipper slugs spin cocoons and turn into slipper moths. But Glummy liked the feel of slipper slug slime and thought it would be better if slipper slugs stayed slipper slugs. I showed him how bumbly bees took nectar from the stinkadora daisies and made it into honey. He said he'd never really stop to smell the stinkadora daisies and thought that the bumbly bees should leave the stinkadoras alone. Every time I tried to show him how something changed for the better, he wanted to keep it the way it was. inside having a good soak, soaking his feet in a bowl of damp. But we need him to come back to the orchard. Maybe we can get him to come out with some of his favorite things. Go away. I'm busy being grumpy about how bright it is. You know what would make it less bright? Big gray clouds. Smooth. <laughs> Don't you want to come out and look for some slipper slug slime? Mm, got some already. How about picking some stinkadora daisies? I hear they make a really awful salad. Maybe tomorrow. If you change your mind. I won't. We'll be at the orchard. It doesn't feel like Grabble Apple Fest. Shh. It feels like shh fest. Maybe now that the trees have been sleeping for a while, it might be safe to pick the fruit. Well. Oh. <laughs> Don't cry, Shady. You're doing your best in a hard situation. <laughs> Farmer Mosser, we tried to help the trees, but even the wishes can't do it without Glummy. Then it really is hopeless. Oh, I've had crops that were too dry, too wet, too weedy, but I've never had one that was too cranky. Oh. Oh no, the grabble, abble, apple trees just mope and pout. Cause the sun's so sunny, yummy, and it's too bright out. The rain no Blue begonias! I've never heard Farmer Moss are so low. He's about as low as you go. And I'm a limbo champion. I got that long face, sour grabble, apple blues. If Gummy could only hear this song, he'd be very happy indeed. Or sad. Maybe that's how we can get Glummy to come back to the orchard. We can use Ping Ping to let Glummy hear Farmer Mosser singing. Then he'll want to hear more and come back to the orchard. Time for my third wish. Don't they have 
have to separate to work? Remember what Z said? They get nervous when they're apart. Don't worry. You'll be back together in no time. You just have to split up for a little bit to help us with Grabble Apple Fest. Sounds good? Uh-huh. Oh no, the grabble apple apple tree is just mope and pout. Cause the sun's so sunny, yummy, and it's too bright out. Come on, B, let's go. Oh, cue me low! That the grabble apple apple trees won't shut their eyes. True, um, I hate to bring this really sad day any lower, but even if Glummy comes back, do you think he'll bring back the clouds? I'm sure he will be. He just needs the right motivation. Glummy, I brought something I think you'll really like. Go away. I told you I don't like trying new things. But you like the sour gravel apple that you tried, remember? This is even better. I mean, worse. Oh no, the gravel apple. It's Farmer Mosser. He's sad because the Grabble Apple trees can't sleep. Hmm, it would go great with a sour Grabble Apple. Wish I had one. You can get one if you come back to the orchard. And you can listen to Farmer Mosser sing up close. That's too much work. Just leave the music box by my window. I'm sorry, Glummy, but this little wish needs to get back to its other half. So if you want to hear more gloom and a little doom, you've got to come out of your room. See what I did there? I rhymed. Wait, I need to hear more of that woeful wailing. Oh, that sun is too bright. It's working, B. Glummy is following the music. That was terrible. Sing it again. True. You brought Glummy back. Does this mean the season will change? <laughs> sad faces, sad music, sour apples. Why would I want to change anything that's so perfectly gloomy? Because it's not perfect for everyone else. The kingdom needs you to bring the autumn weather. Are you going to keep bothering me until I bring back the clouds? Tell him yes, tell him yes! No, Glummy. It's totally up to you. But changing the seasons would make everyone happy! I only brought the autumn clouds because I like them. I've never done anything just for someone else. That would be a pretty big change for sure. And we know you don't like change. But maybe you'll find out you like doing something new. Like when you tried the sour gravel apple. Oh, well, that did turn out all right. Eh, I suppose it is too bright. Here, ah. Chew. You to keep warm. It's okay. You keep it. Thanks for your help, Shady, Hushabye, and Ping Ping. Now back in the pack. Gummy's clouds are making the trees sleepy. Long live the glue! Sorry. Long live the glue. Let's give him the nudge test. Um. They've started winter nap. So then why are we still whispering? You're right. Nothing can wake them till spring. Oh, yes, the tree. The scarf isn't really my style. Too jazzy. But thank you. Look! The symphony of color is about to begin! Well, everybody.
daddy's happy. My work is done. Yippee. I'm out of here. Gloomy, wait. Thanks for bringing your cloud game. It was really nice of you. Whatever. Just don't let it get around. Here, Bee. Have a cup of Grabble Apple Cider. Grabble Apple Cider? Or we always drink Grabble Apple Cocoa. I put a marshmallow in it, too. Try it. Change can be good. Mm-mm. Change is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> For me, true? It is, isn't it? Huh? It is. Uh, mm, you know, my favorite color is blue, right? No, wait, it's yellow. No peeking, Bartleby. You can't see your Wazzlewag until it's finished. Wazzlewag Day rules. Don't you have a wag to decorate? Of course I do. I just, um, you know, haven't started yet. Galloping green, Bartleby. It can take time to get a Wazzlewag decorated just so. Why do we give painted wigs on Wuzzlewag Day anyway? You mean you've never heard the story of the Wuzzle Bun? A Wuzzle Bun? Sounds cuddly. Like Wuzzy Wuzzy Woo. Oh, yes. They were cuddly and magical. You see, a long time ago, Wuzzle Buns roamed free in the Many Colors Meadow. A Wuzzle Bun used its magic to turn ordinary wigs into magical Wuzzle Wigs, filled with special treats. What kind of treats? All kinds of wonderful things the Rainbow Kingdom never had before. Grabble apples, marshmallows. Uh... And were there fishy poofs? Fishy poofs? Yes, I'm sure that's where fishy poofs came from, Bartleby. But where did all the Wuzzle Buns go? No one has seen a Wuzzle Bun in 1,003,072 years. But we still decorate pretend Wuzzle Wigs and give them to our friends on Wuzzle Wig Day to celebrate the magic of the Wuzzle Buns. This year, I'm going to give you the prettiest, most awesome Wuzzle Wig you've ever seen, True. But first, um, I have to find it. <laughs> Good luck, Bee! Ah, the many colors meadow. Smells like spring. Now to find myself the prettiest, most awesome Wuzzle Wake ever! Huh? <gasps> uh, that way, huh? Oh, oh, okay, thanks! <laughs> okay, okay, just point. I can follow pointing, you know. No one saw that, right? Whoa! <gasps> oh, my paws. Those pushy plants were right. It's a wag. No, not just any old wag. The biggest wag ever! True's eyes are gonna pop out of her head when she sees this! I'm back! I found you the best wag in the universe. You gotta see it to believe it. True, it's amazing! But don't look. You can't see it until it's done. Was a wag day rules! I need paint. Lots of paint. And a brush. <laughs> Aren't you just the best whittle waggy? Ah, oh, Whittle Waggy, so cute. Bartleby loves Waggy. Bartleby can't wait to give Whittle Waggy to best friend True. <laughs> Whoops! Need more paint. Stay right here, Waggy. Be good for Bartleby. I'll be right back. Oh, Bartleby. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh,
Waggy? Waggy! Waggy! Where are you, Waggy? True Rainbow King, come quick! What's wrong? Out of paint already? No! I was working on an amazing wuzzle wig for True, and then I just left for a second, and when I got back, it was gone! Someone, or something, took it! Look at those footprints! They're ginormous! They're pretty big, all right. These tracks should be easy to follow. We'll have the mystery of the missing wig solved in no time. Ooh, I love a good mystery. Time to track that wig snatcher. We're coming, Weggy. What a weird path. It's like it doesn't know where it's going. Right. It's almost as if it's looking for more wigs to steal. It all fits. Wig snatcher gotta snatch wigs. This is no ordinary thief. It's definitely some kind of extra strong, super sneaky, humongously hairy, big fang, wig stealing monster headed right for. <gasps> Rainbow City! Uh oh. Just look at everyone innocently walking around with their wuzzle wigs right out in the open where the wuzzle wig thief could see them. We have to tell everyone to hide their wigs until this extra strong, super sneaky, humongously hairy, big fanged wig stealing monster <gasps> is caught! I'm not sure this is a full scale emergency just yet, Bartleby. True. What do you think? Hmm. The footprints are really big. And Bee's wig did go missing. I guess Bartleby could be right about a wig snatching monster. Oh, I'd hate to spoil Wuzzle Wig Day. But if Bartleby is right, we have to keep everyone and their Wuzzle Wig safe. All right then, it is decided. <clears throat> Attention all Rainbow Kingdom citizens! We have evidence of an unknown wig-stealing monster in the kingdom. Please proceed to hide your wigs in a safe place and gather in the square until further notice. A wig-stealing monster? You heard the king? Hide all the wigs! If this monster is as horrible as Bartleby suspects, we may have to cancel Wuzzle Wig Day altogether. Cancel Wuzzle Wig Day? But Rainbow King, please, you can't cancel it. We're going to find out what happened to Bartleby's wig, and we're going to have Wuzzle Wig Day. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Good luck, True. Good luck, Bartleby. Okay, Bartleby. We have no more tracks to follow. Monster tracks. Don't forget that they're wig snatching monster tracks. They may be monster tracks. Without maybe monster tracks to follow, the only way we can solve this mystery in time to save Wuzzle Wig Day is with wish help. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> to the wishing tree, please! Some of the wishes wanted to be painted like wuzzle eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you all look fantastic. <laughs> but wuzzle egg day is why we're here. Bartleby had a special wuzzle egg. The best egg ever! And we think it may have been taken. By a super strong giant egg snatching monster with fangs and claws who just stole my perfect egg and took it back to its mystery lair. And we tried to follow it, but the monster tracks disappeared. We don't know that's what happened. Oh, I know. Here. It is true that we saw big footprints, and then they stopped. And we have to solve the mystery, or the Rainbow King might have to... cancel Wuzzle Egg Day. Hmm. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? I think... If I may, first, we need to find the Snatcher. Then, we need to steal back the wig. Then, we need to get away real fast. And, we need to make it so that they can't steal the wig ever again. 
Uh, I think what Bartleby is trying to say is that we need to find the Wag. And the monster. And bring the Wag home so we can save Wuzzlewag Day. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. have extra oomph, cause we're gonna need it. Let's check them out in the Wishipedia. The first wish is Scanzi, a locator wish. It's my star wish at hide and go seek. Scanzi sounds like the perfect wish for finding Bartleby's wag. And the monster. Now, your next wish is... Same, same. One of the best mimic wishes. This wish can copy the sound or voice of anything it meets. Same, same. Really? Like what? Really? Like what? Whoa! 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 Okay, cut it out. Okay, cut it out. No, really. No, really. How do you turn this wish off? How do you turn this wish off? <laughs> okay, same, same. All done. Same, same sounds just like Bartleby. Perfect distraction. We can use Same Same to distract the Snatcher while we steal back Weggy from right under its monster nose. If it has a nose. What about our third wish, Z? Craplo, a pickup wish. It can pick up and carry anything. Craplo! <laughs> yes, the perfect wig snatching device. Or, oh, 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 we should just bam, snatch the monster and all its wig snatching friends, yeah, yeah, and move them. Far, far away from Rainbow Kingdom and save Wuzzle Wag Day! <laughs> Don't worry, Bee. I'm sure these wishes are just what we need. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack! <laughs> Time to find the missing wag. And steal it back! Oh, oh. you gonna use Scanzi? I mean, we've gotta find that monster before it takes my Weggy too far away. Let's ask around first. If there was a strange anything wandering around town with the Weg, I'm sure somebody noticed. Great idea, True. Let's crack this case wide open. <laughs> the monster that snatched it. Now, can we use Scanzi? Pretty please, with a fishy poof on top? Absolutely. Time for my first wish.
Snatching thing, you. Baba Bee. <gasps> uh oh. Baba Bee. Ah! <laughs> They're chasing us. Baba Bee. Quick, Scanzi, back in the pack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't believe you, Bee. I hate being so. can hear it. No time! It's coming this way! This way! This way! This way! Baba Bee! This way! This way! Phew! It worked! Oh, no! We just sent Same Same towards Rainbow City! This way! This way! We have to get there first and warn everyone about the monster! Come on! Again with the running? Well, this is just about the most boring Wuzzleweg day ever. This way! This way! Bartleby? <laughs> Wiggy, stop! Wiggy, stop! Uh, Bobby? Nobody move! There's an extra strong, super sneaky, humongously hairy, big fanged, egg stealing snatcher <laughs> inside that wag! <laughs> <laughs> Probably the wrong thing to say. Bobblebee? <laughs> Bobblebee! We have to fix this and stop that monster. Ah, uh, nobody know, no can do. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Hmm, maybe you don't have to. Time for my third way. Keep it away from everyone. Oh, yeah. Especially me. Keep it away from Baba Bee. Baba Bee. Oh. Thanks, Grapplo. Don't let it go until we know what to do with it. <laughs> Where's that beast? I'll take care of it. I'm Kitty Natty Tough. I'm... It's okay, Bee. Grapplo's got it. Oh. Oh, phew. Excellent job, Grapplo. Make sure you hold that monster nice and tight. Egg snatcher? But you're so cute and cuddly. Barbaby, this is no wig snatcher. It would seem you have found us a wuzzle bun. <gasps> <gasps> a real live wuzzle bun? Like from the wuzzle wig day story? Indeed. Barbaby. I feel kind of silly now. I told everyone there was an extra strong, super sneaky, humongous, hairy, big fanged egg stealing monster. <laughs> B, it's okay. We all make mistakes. 
Your imagination told you something was true when it wasn't. But I didn't even get you a wuzzle wag like I promised, True. Bartleby, the wuzzle wag you got for me had a wuzzle bun inside it. So I didn't ruin wuzzle wag day? Quite the opposite. You made this the most special one ever. <laughs> I didn't ruin wuzzle wag day! Ah, <laughs> oh, waggy! Wuzzlebun magic. I suggest you all check inside your wuzzle wigs. Wow. I wish you could come every Wuzzlewag day. Jumping jelly green, Bartleby. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. <clears throat> from this moment on, we will celebrate Wuzzlewag day with a visit from our new friend, the Wuzzlebun. And hide our wigs because it was so much fun. Hooray! <laughs> Great job, Wishes. Now back in the pack. <laughs> We solved the mystery and found your wig and the monster. <laughs> All in time to say Wuzzle Wig Day. Best day ever! Even if you're the only one without a magic Wuzzle Wig? Huh? <sighs> Happy Wuzzle Wig Day, Bartleby. You painted fishy poofs on it? And me and you? It's Perfect. Thanks, True. Thanks, Waggy. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Extra special marshmallow fishy poofs. Oh. Uh huh. Thanks, Waggy. Happy Wuzzle Wag Day. And see you next year. Bye, Bubby. while doing it. Come on, Ball! Come to Bartleby. <laughs> Sorry I grabbed your tail, Bee, but I thought it was an emergency. It was. I almost got wet. But you would never let that happen, would you, True? Well, not on Friendship Day. Griselda? Ta-da! We're here to brighten your Friendship Day. You brightened it all right. You got a dimmer switch on that thing? Now that everyone's here, I have something to show you. Come on! So, for Friendship Day, I made you all friendship bracelets. Presents? Thanks, Drew. That's so thoughtful of you. Cool! We're all matchy-matchy. No one told me we give presents on Friendship Day. I would have got you all really good presents. You don't have to. I just felt like making friendship bracelets for my friends. And there are lots of different ways you can show you care on Friendship Day. Like baking Nummelberry cookies to share. Want one? 
Oh, great. Now we're sharing, too. And friends look after each other, like, um, um, uh, when, when, when True saved me from getting wet. Here you go, Fruki. But I didn't make gifts or bake cookies or save anyone. I didn't do anything nice. When do I get to be nice? Well, we couldn't have Friendship Day without you. You were there for us when we needed you. Well, I am really good at showing up. Ow! Eee! A gravity grab! Get it off! <laughs> True, get it off me! Okay, hold still and I'll grab it. Yikes! Okay, give me a sec. There's gotta be a right way to remove a grippity grab. Uh, hurry! Yikes! It's a grippity grab snack attack! <laughs> Save the snacks! Shoo, shoo! Oh. Fruki, look out! A grippity is after your pretty neckerchief! Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Hey! The grippities are taking all our fashion accessories! Since when do grippity grabs care about style? They don't, but they do like shiny things. In fact, legend has it, there's a giant grippity grab in the sea with a whole cave full of shiny treasure. So, if the grippity grabs like shiny things, here, little grippity, want this? Problem solved. Oh, you saved me, True. <gasps> you saved me. And you gave up your bracelet to do it. You're such a great friend! It's no big deal. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm a great friend, too. Just you wait and see. I'm going to get your bracelet back. Stop! We got the truth bracelet! Yeah, in my glasses! Yeah, Nummelberry cookies don't work so well as sunglasses. Mm, but they taste great. You come back here, you little grippities. You are ruining Friendship Day. Being a good friend is harder than I thought. Oh! I'll just make True a new, even better friendship bracelet. Out of extra special, super sparkly seashells. Handpicked by me. <coughs> Patience, Furkykins. We'll play as soon as I'm done being thoughtful. Ta-da! All done! Isn't it irresistible? Of course it is. <coughs> <gasps> you must be that giant grippity grap who collects shiny things. <laughs> Look, I totally get liking pretty things. But I'd like my bracelet back now, please. <laughs> hey, give it back! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a toy, you know. I made that for a friend. <gasps> oh? What? No, not you. A princess can't be friends with someone so shellfish. La 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 la! No fair! I can't swim that far. I'm not some fish, you know. <laughs> what did you just do? And why do my feet feel all floppy? <gasps> my perfect princess toes! How am I supposed to try on new shoes? <laughs> I thought Griselda would be back by now. Let's go find her. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Just follow that bright light. Um, that's the sun, Bartleby. Oops. Um, hi, Mr. Sun. Happy Friendship Day. We should be able to follow Griselda's footprints in the sand. Good idea, Z. Let's go. Give it back. <laughs> this day is not going like I planned. Oops! Sorry, Fruki. I'm not used to having a floppy fish tail. Ha ha! La la la! Wait here, Fruki Kins. I won't be long. I just have to catch Grippity, get my friendship bracelet, and make him turn me back into a whole princess so I don't have to spend the rest of my life in the sea. Bing, bing, boom! I'll be back soon. Toodles! <laughs> Look at that shine! It's Griselda! With the giant grippity grab. The legend is true. <laughs> Griselda has a fish tail. <laughs> what happened, Fruki? Isn't it obvious what happened? Griselda would rather spend Friendship Day with a giant grippity than with us. Don't worry, Fruki. We'll take care of you. <sighs> what are the things we do for our friends? Yeah. Griselda would never leave Fruki behind. 
Especially on Friendship Day. I think Griselda needs our help. We have to go and save her. Wait, what? Like, go in the water? Yes, but since we haven't been turned into fish, we'll need Wish help. Cumulo! Come on, Fruki. You too. To the wishing tree, please. Happy Friendship Day to you, too, Wishes. But there's no time to chat. Our friend needs our help. Right. Let's sit. And have a seat. <sighs> okay, True. How can the Wishing Tree help you? Well, we think a giant grippity grab turned Griselda into a... An extra shiny fish girl. So I need a wish to undo the spell and turn Griselda back into herself. And since Griselda is under the sea, I need a wish that will allow me to travel underwater. It's friendship day. We should all go and help. <laughs> as long as I can stay completely dry. All right. I need a wish that will take us all underwater. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. So this is Subba. Hi, Subba. Subba is an underwater wish. Subba gets big enough to fit all your friends inside and keep them dry. Oh, I like him. Best wish yet. That's perfect. Subba will help us all travel underwater to find Griselda. Boop, 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 boop. Your next wish is undo. Well, hello, Undo. Undo! This is a reversing wish. When it spins backwards over something, it undoes it. But Undo can only be used once. If this wish can turn Griselda back into a two-legged princess, then Undo only has to work once. And your last wish is Shim Shim. Shim Shim has helped us once before. It's a wish that's really good at wiggling. Hello again, Shim Shim. That <laughs> tickled. <laughs> I'm not sure how wiggling can help save Griselda, but I'll think of something. You zip zap wishes in my pack. Now let's go get our friend Griselda. with these floppy tails anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, coming through. You can't get away from me that easy, Grippity. Uh, this fishtail is supremely annoying. Uh, yeah. uh, thanks? So you're giving me the bracelet back? <sighs> I guess not. <laughs> Poor little Fruki. You miss Griselda, don't you? But don't worry. We'll find her under all that water. Won't we, True? You bet. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, Find 
Griselda, can you help us out? Jaffa! <laughs> with that shiny tail. Oh, oh, I see it. You're behind that rock. Uh, that way, Saba. Mm, that's not her. It's a school of fish. All those fish are wearing the same tail as Griselda. She is not going to be happy with that. Hey, how are we going to spot Griselda if everything has a shiny tail? <laughs> Don't worry, Fruki. Griselda is down here somewhere. We'll find her. But how? It's not as easy as following her tracks in the sand. Right. She can't leave footprints. If she doesn't have feet... Griselda may not be leaving tracks, but giant Grippity is. Good thinking, True. Told you, Fruki. True will find Griselda in no time. Okay, Zubba. Follow those tracks. La -la 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 -la. No fair. Mm. You know I can't walk out of the water into <gasps> this amazing cave. Your home is almost as nice as my palace. So many pretty, shiny things, <gasps> including me. I'm not a half fish. I'm an adorable, glamorous, unbelievably cute mermaid. If only my friends could see me now. I miss them, you know. Especially my best friend, Fruki. And Z, and Bartleby, and True. She's the one I made the beautiful bracelet for. You know how it is with friends. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe not. Huh? Oh, thank you! I have to give this to True for Friendship Day to show what an amazing friend I am. Shiny things. Wait a sec. Is this for me? <laughs> so you want to be friends? <laughs> All that chasing and hiding was just playing? Uh huh. Well, well of course a princess and a grippity can be friends. We have so much in common. Uh -huh. We both love shiny things. Uh -huh. We both have beautifully decorated homes. <gasps> Next time, you can come to my house. I'll have my Grismos build us a water park, and we can decorate it together. Won't that be fun? Uh, 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 uh. After you turn me back into a princess, of course. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Oh, no! Where's your magic thingy? Change me back. Grippity did to 
you. Really? So you can use your wish to undo what he did to himself? He was trying to help me and he got all tangled up. He was trying to help you? Like a friend? Well, yes. He really is my friend. A princess and a grippity can be friends, you know. Griselda, I can only use undo once. If undo frees grippity, I don't have a wish to turn you back. Then... <sighs> use the wish to free grippity. What? what? We're friends now, and friends are always there for you when you need them, right? But... What about you? Grippity is the one who really needs help. I'm fine. Um, Griselda, you may not have noticed, but you have a fish tail. It's a mermaid tail. And being a mermaid isn't so bad. But you have to live in water. Not a problem. I already have plans for a water park. And I could give Fruki swimming lessons. <laughs> she did not mean that. Griselda, are you sure? I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay, Undo. Do your thing. Woo! Undo! Zelda, that was very generous of you. Are you sure you'll be okay being a half-ish? Uh, I mean, mermaid? Well, it was nice having a super sparkly tail, and I was starting to get the hang of swimming. <laughs> but I do love my fancy shoes and running around with my little fruky kins. <laughs> Sorry, Griselda. I don't think my last wish can turn you back into a princess. Oh! <laughs> What's Grippity doing now? What's going on there? Oh! Grippity's magic thingy is inside that clam. His trident? The same one he used to turn you into a mermaid? Of course. But that clam clammed up and won't give it back. I think we can fix that. Time for my third win. Remember how Shim Shim tickled my arm in the wishing tree? I bet a little tickle can get that grumpy clam to loosen up. Um, I still don't get it. <laughs> See, you can't laugh with your mouth closed. Yeah. Oh my. So if the clam laughs, it'll open. Okay, Shim Shim, wiggle away. Shim Shim makes the first move. The classic fast, slow, fast tickle. Oh, Clam blocks that move. There'll be no laughing today. Shim Shim is really upping her game. Clam is having a hard time ignoring the tickles. Shim Shim is tickling up, down, and all around and shows no sign of stopping. <laughs> oh, Clam can't take it in and grab! <laughs> the Clam is open, folks! The Clam is open! Now it's all up to Grimmy to finish this. Here it comes! <laughs> Now back in the pack. Shim shim. It's all up to Grippity now. I have legs again! Thank you, Grippity. I knew you could do it. Good to have you back, Griselda. It's good to be back with all my friends. Now can we get back to celebrating Friendship Day up on the beach? I'm still a little nervous under the sea. Just a second, Griffity. For you, Griffity, you've earned it, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for the great ride, Saba. Now back in the pack. <laughs> What a great friendship day. We all really stuck together like good friends do. <laughs> okay, okay, stop it now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're friends, I know. Cut it out now. <laughs> I think the best thing is that Griselda started a new tradition for friendship day. I did? <laughs> Make a new friend. 
Yep, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so bizarre.